In this video, I'm gonna do some architectural photography in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'll take you on the shoot and I'll show you how I process one of the images in Photoshop. Let's get started. Well, I am in Las Vegas, Nevada on my way from Utah to California on a three-day photo journey. I'm helping my son move into his dorm for his senior year. He's in Southern California. So I started in Utah. I'm making my way here. I already have one video posted from the Bonneville Salt Flats, my first uh, couple days of the trip. Now I'm in Vegas. I'm gonna do some architectural photography uh, of the Cleveland Clinic, which is behind me. Uh, let me get my stuff set up before this light goes away and uh, get shooting. Well, I brought my tripod, but uh, Honestly, the sky is not that interesting. If there were some interesting clouds, I would use my tripod, do a long exposure, and really capture some of that cloud movement over the building, but uh, it's kind of either blue skies or very mushy clouds. So I'm gonna just shoot handheld. It's very bright. I don't need to use a long exposure. It's so bright. The tricky part is finding the angle of the building. It is a really interesting building but I'm just trying to find the right angle that works with the light I'm given and the architecture of the building itself. Well, I wish I could stand in the street and get a better angle, but that is a non-starter at this point. So, just trying to get shots from a safe place, obviously. Well, this building was designed by Frank Gehry, and I have shot a number of Frank Gehry buildings over the years. I'll put some of those shots up now, but uh, many of them include kind of a curvy, metal facade which really picks up the light and uh, I find them very interesting to photograph. I think most people like Frank Gehry. He does have his critics. I'm a fan and I love shooting these buildings. So when I found out there was one in Vegas, I made sure I stopped here on the way uh, to California. Well, I was going to shoot sunrise tomorrow because I thought the light would be better, but there was a chance of rain. I got to Vegas a little early, so I came over here, I walked. I didn't realize it's like 100 degrees here. They say it's a dry heat, and it is, but it's still 100 degrees. And so, working up a little sweat, but uh, definitely worth it. Well, I got some clouds in the sky, so I am doing a long exposure. The problem is they're really high up there. They're very high, wispy clouds are barely moving. So to capture cloud movement, I've got to go out a good minute and a half to two minutes, which is hard in the bright sunlight. But what I did was, camera on a tripod, I've got two ND filters that are stacked there, a 10 stop and a 6 stop. And so that really darkens the scene. It allows me to use maybe a two minute exposure. So I'm doing that now. Not bad. Hard to tell. A little bit of cloud movement, not, uh, not too much. It may not have been worth it, but I'm here, so figure why not. Well, 
I think I got some good shots here. Hard to tell because uh, it's so bright out I can't see it on my screen very well, but when I see them on the computer, I'll have a better sense. I'm gonna cross the street. I'm gonna try to get one more architectural shot before I go grab some dinner. Uh, we'll see if it's any good. If not, I'll just probably sign off at that point. Well, this building is right across the street from the Cleveland Clinic. And I find it pretty interesting, the different layers, the different uh, shapes, angles, and even materials. So I'm gonna to try to get a shot from this angle and try to highlight some of those features of the building. So I'm not quite sure what this building is. I will put it up on the screen now. Uh, but I find it pretty interesting. I, I'm not sure I want to spend the time walking around the whole thing. I like this angle right now, but uh, maybe I'll take a little bit of time. I'm in Vegas after all. Yeah, not that interesting from other angles, so I will call it quits. Uh, hey, if you're into Photoshop, stick around. I'll show you how I process one of these images in Photoshop. Uh, if that's not your thing, uh, let's sign off here. It does help the channel just to give me a like, assuming you like the video. Uh, and if you like this kind of content, architecture, cityscape, landscape, fine art, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos. And until next time. Had a great trip. I uh, love stopping in Vegas and photographing this building. Um, and I am back home um, on my computer. And what I want to do now, I'm in Photoshop, and I want to show you how I turned this image into this image. Uh, I've already done some work in Lightroom, so I converted to black and white. I pulled up the shadows, added a little bit of clarity, uh, but didn't do too much. And this is actually not a bad shot in my mind. Uh, the building features really do come alive, but I think I can accentuate them even more. Um, I've already made a number of selections. To do that, I use the polygonal lasso tool, and that's really just a series of small straight lines where I outline whatever selection I want. We'll go through it now because it's kind of tedious. Um, and I was able to save those selections. So now I can go up to, let's, let's start with the sky, for example. I can go up to select, um, load selection, and I'm gonna choose sky, it's already up there, and you could see the outline of the sky. What I wanna do is, is darken it, and I'm gonna choose a solid color adjustment layer. And you can see, you, know, you can make whatever color you want. I'm gonna pull this all the way over to the left. So there's no color, it's just black and white. And as I pull down, the sky will get darker. I don't want it fully black. Uh, it looks a little bit almost fake, but you know, somewhere around there where it's fairly dark and it really allows the building to pop more. And so here's the before, here's the after. Your eye is really now drawn to the building. Different parts of the building have different curves to them and highlights and shadows. And so I think I can accentuate that. And I won't go through everything, but if I, for example, load uh, upper middle, it's this upper middle section and you can see there's a natural kind of highlight in the middle because there's a curve to the building and I can accentuate that. So I made this selection. I'm going to use a curves adjustment layer. I'm going to pull up and that is going to brighten up the entire selection. But I really just want that middle part of it to be brighter and that really accentuates the curvature of that selection. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to reselect I'm gonna use the gradient tool. In this case, I'm gonna use the reflected gradient tool. So I'm gonna click on that, uh, make sure my foreground color is white, which it is. And if I pull out from the middle, you'll see that middle section becomes brighter. Here's the before, here's the after. And by the way, you, you can always accentuate this even more by, you know, it's already selected. I can choose another curves adjustment layer. I'm gonna pull down, I can darken the outside. Again, this will darken everything, but then I can reselect, 
my foreground color, this time I want to be black and pull out from the outside and you get a pretty good sense and again, you can play with it. Um, so here's before I did anything and here's after. Again, it really accentuates the feature of that building. We'll do, we'll do another one. I'm deselecting, by the way, I'm on a Mac, I hit Command D and that will deselect. Um, let's see, so I want to go load selection. I'm going to choose far upper right. There's a small piece back there that kind of gets lost and I want to brighten that up. So again, I just use a curves adjustment layer, pull it up. It is catching some light by the way, but I want to make sure it catches more light. Uh, and there was a curve to it. So this one too, I'm going to reselect. My foreground color should be white, which I'm making it white by hitting this, these arrows here. You can toggle back and forth. I'm going to choose a gradient tool. This time I want to choose a linear gradient tool and pull out from the left. So you can see that left side then becomes a little bit brighter. Here's the before, here's the after. Let me deselect it. You could see before and after. I also like the contrast between that section and the other part of the building. Uh, let's do one more area. Load selection. I'll do upper left. There's a section up there again with a nice curve to it, but you can see the top of that selection is definitely brighter than the bottom because it was catching the light. And so let's use a curves adjustment layer, pull up, which will brighten up the entire selection. Uh, I'm going to go back, reselect. I have my gradient tool selected, linear gradient tool pulled down because I want the top to be brighter. Uh, and you can see that. So before, after. So here are the three selections I made before and here's after. One other thing I did, by the way, <clears throat> I'm going to go back to uh, my background layer. One thing I did was I wanted to accentuate some of the highlights and shadows in the, gra in the grass itself to give it a little bit more texture. Um, there's a lot of ways of doing that. Most people use a curves adjustment layer. I'm going to just use the dodge and burn tool. So I'm going to choose the dodge tool. I do need to deselect that selection I made on the upper left. Again, hitting command D. So I went down to my background layer and I'm going to choose, uh, I'm going to make sure I got my dodge tool selected. I have highlights up here selected, so it will brighten up some of the highlights. So when I come down here and paint this in, you see some of the highlights getting getting a bit brighter. Um, I can also choose the burn tool, which uh, really darkens things. I'm going to choose the shadows this time. You can see shadows are selected. I'm going to make that brush a little bit bigger by hitting the right bracket key. And I'm just going to paint in some of the darker shadows here and here. Again, just creating more texture uh, in the grass. Um, last thing I typically do is just use a curves adjustment layer on the entire image. And so I've got my top, um, layer selected. I'm going to choose a curves adjustment layer and to choose, make contrast, you're pulling down on the left again, lowering the shadows, pulling up on the right, brightening some of the highlights. And so you're really creating a lot of drama. The other thing I did, which I won't go into now, is I did create a bit of a gradient in the sky as well to create more interest, but you get a sense of uh, what I was able to do. So let me go back and turn off all these layers, choose the background layer. That's the before. And again, that is the after. So, uh, hey, if you found this helpful, uh, make sure you give me a like you know, thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content, especially the architectural stuff with the Photoshop tutorials, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I do a lot of different things, but this is a big part of the channel. There's also a playlist with past videos I've done. You could check that out. Uh, thanks for watching and until next time.